it's good to be in the land of the living, but it's depressing as well. God bless y'all this morning, and we got to put on our war clothes. It's time to do battle. It's time to fight back with all our gusto. And don't forget to keep God with you. Don't worry about it. He said he will fight our battles. But we have to occupy until that time. We have to put on the full armor. The helmet of salvation. The shield of faith. The breastplate of righteousness. The sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. Our loins girded about with the gospel of truth. And our feet trotted with the preparation of the gospel of peace. It's time to stay, get back up on the battlefield and do the work for our Lord. Because I told y'all, and I've been preaching it, I've been signing along. Injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. Now they coming for us. Now they coming to take away the gains that we have gained. And what's so killing about it, they done changed the rules. They done sit up there and looking like a Congress. They just started making up their own rules now. I guess Donald Trump taught them how. Just do it. <laughs> they can't do nothing to you. Just do it. Change the rules whenever you get ready. And say it, it conforms to the Constitution. Constitution didn't have nothing to do with us. The Constitution, didn't, we were two-fifths of, of a man. Three-fifths of a man. And they got me hot on fire. But he said, we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Saints, we got to fight this good fight of faith, and we got to lay hold on the eternal life. Those, we got to buy the infirmities of the weak. We got to stand in the gap with the pillar and the ground of the truth. We got to do the work. Faith without works is dead. They done punched us in the mouth. And now we got to stand up and we got to do. Who is on the Lord's side? He gave us a choice to choose good and evil. Righteousness or, uh, or unrighteousness. Whichever. We have a choice. And he said choose life. Life and death. He gave us a choice. Everybody, every man, woman, and boy, boy and girl that is born in this earth realm was given a choice at birth from God. And no man in this earth realm has a right to take that right away from you. If you want to sin, as long as you don't infringe on others' rights, you have that right to sin and die and go to hell. That's, that's your choice. These people that came to be there, wow, these are the white nationalists. It's the same people our forefathers been fighting for the from the conception of being in this this uh, uh, America. We have been fighting these fights two steps forward, three steps backwards. They said in MAGA, make America great again. They took they rolling back things that they have no right to. You don't have to, we have to keep fighting these same battles. 
voting rights, civil rights. Oh, man. We have to keep fighting, though, for our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. We got to keep on the battlefield. These are the same people Jesus told and Jesus had to deal with. They call themselves Christians. They said they're doing God's service. Saul was one of them. The Apostle Paul. <clears throat> they're doing it all in the name of Jesus. Satan has deceived them to think that they're supposed to be, do the work, fight, the fight that God said he would fight. We have to fight the fight because of those that they're going to trample over. God's going to take care of us. We're going to be taken care of. They can't do the bad. The thief come to but to kill, steal, and to destroy God's people. But Jesus said, "I come to give to give you life, and that more abundantly." He said, "We gonna have tribulations and trials, but be be, be cool. I have overcome. I'm though no, I'm excited. I'm I'm uh." I'm passionate about this, saints. We got to vote these jokers out of office. And we got to support up the number on the Supreme Court. It's just that simple. And we got to get these state houses. We got to do that work for those that are least among us. Jesus said, what you did to them, you did it unto me give you an example. Jesus said that woman caught in adultery. She, she was in sin. But that ain't where you fight sin. He said, by love have I drawn thee. And he wants us to be the same way. These so-called Christians are nothing but devils in sheep clothing. They are antichrists and they are being deceived. Some of them are. Some of them are just that hateful. He said, you without seeing cast the first stone. But I have a message for you, for the people of God. The new life as a stewardship. This new life, God is with us. Zachariah, Sunday school lesson. He's bringing peace to the children of Israel. What it says, peace to the nations. That was the Sunday school lesson. Beautiful lesson. P fit today's, uh, what we're going through in this world. Peace to the nation. Only God can, can bring that. We can do the work, though. And we have to do the work. What you did to the least of these, you done it under me. When I was hungry, you fed me. Naked, you clothed me. Thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was in the hospital, you came under me. When I was in prison, you, you visited me. It seemed like the, 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 when, I, when I didn't have no place to stay, you brought me in or something like that. I might be wrong. But we got to take care of those. We're the pillar in the ground of the truth. We have to fight back this injustice anywhere. It's injustice everywhere. If not, they'll have us at the back of the bus. How do you sit up there and tell the people, oh, but we're going to be colorblind in this area, but in the military, we take the blinders off. Oh, what? Oh, we got two systems, uh, one one law governing two different systems. If military, they, they, they got a, they're not, they're not a quota. <laughs> not a quota. But uh, 
but it, it doesn't apply with the military uh, colleges. Uh, I mean, it's is that not asinine? Oh, uh, <laughs> wow! I don't know how to put it. That's a uh, oxymoron. And these are educated people trying to, to sell the bill of goods to us like that. But they've done that all our life. These are white slave masters theology that they have been perpetrating on us and the church for, for, for 200 and some, 40 some odd years. These are the same people. They have not changed their dots. They even date back, like I said, all the way back to the Pharisees in Jesus' time. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come humbly submitting ourselves before your throne room of grace and mercy. We come lifting you up and we come magnifying your name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for all that you do. We ask that you continue to anoint this service and that you speak through me to your people. Hide me behind the cross at Calvary in the flesh and nail me to the cross. And Father God, bless these thine people that come to hear you a word from you. Give them ears to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. And give them this hunger and thirst after your righteousness whereby they might be filled. And wisdom and revelation knowledge of your Son Jesus, which is the Word of God. And when this Word goes forth with power, somebody might ask, what must they do to be saved, delivered, healed, sanctified, and set free. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Which one is it? This one? It's fan, baby. Up one. Up one. Right here? Yes. <clears throat> oh, I'm sweating. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. The new life as a stewardship. So you're, so you're sitting right up under the light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm catching the cold. Huh? Galatians. Get your Bibles. God is going to speak to his people. And yes, so don't get panicky. And I, I take things serious, man. I'm, I hate people trying to dupe me and and tried to sell me a bill of goods and that, that ain't, I mean, you could see to their face. They don't care whether you like it or not. I mean, the, 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 the mediated gall that they have, that they, they, they got six and, and they being bought the highest bidder and the, the, the highest court in the land. That'll tear up on a, a democracy. Man, we never seen that coming. But they, they've been sounding alarm, been telling us, vote, vote, vote. <laughs> consequences. These are the consequences before you. But they did a little st uh, underhanded stuff, though, to get here, though. They stole two, two Supreme Court justices, one of Biden's and one of uh, President Obama. So they did do some underhanded stuff, and that's what Satan does. That's what the demonic do. They don't play by the rules. And God's people got to play by the rules. God, people got to play by the rules. I know Biden seemed like you, you could do better by trying to force 
three more justices. I mean, sustain playing by the rules. That that is a rule. We can do that. That's a rule. Regardless of what they might do when they get in, we just won't never let them get in. Would just that be that simple? Praise God. We have to fight the good fight of faith, and we got to lay hold on eternal life. You got to make sure that you endure to the end. We got to make sure that we continue to do the work that God called us to do. We have to fight the injustice. The only way for evil to abound is for righteous folk to do nothing, say nothing. We got to sound the alarm. We, I've been sounding the alarm. I've been telling y'all who these people live. <clears throat> and uh, tribulations, trials and tribulations. We in the tribulation hour, so it's uh, only fitting that uh, stuff will be going down like this to keep us always fighting for our Lord. And who as our Lord said, whatever you did to the least of these, you did it unto me. So we got to fight the good fight for Jesus' sake that we are continuing to do his will. And that is his will to protect those because we got to remember we were once one of them. We were once sinners. We were once dead in trespasses and sin. Let's go to the scriptures. Galatians 6, 7 and 9. The new life as a stewardship. I, I, I kept, kept didn't want to put that stewardship on there. I can, how about the new life as a steward? Is it the stewardship? We're we're ship. We're, we're, the Holy Ghost is driving this ship. This is the, the temple of the Holy Ghost. The stewardship. We're doing God's bidding. We're spreading love. We got to continue in love. We got to continue to do the work, the fight. We got to speak those things that be not as though they are. And I'm not talking about supernatural. Cast that out. That's come from that white slave master mentality. Man, words have meaning. Speak those things that be not. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Supernatural Lewis Hines is a drug addict trying to get high and fornicating and, 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 and more drugs and alcohol and, and just doing the, the, the fleshly thing. Supernatural, that's what supernatural is. I heard a man on the uh, radio trying to explain how good that is, and he used Superman jumping into the phone booth and coming out of Superman to, to describe the supernatural. That's what it is. And he didn't say nothing wrong with that. God is a spirit. Y'all get this right. Throw that word away. I, I, Satan throw that in here and Christian don't and I don't know how. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. He don't want you to do nothing natural. He want it manifested in your natural, but it thought from your inner, your spirit, your Holy Ghost spirit in you manifesting in your flesh, because you're flesh. But they don't want nothing natural. The natural man knows not the things of the Spirit of God. Neither can he know them because he's spiritually discerned. He don't, can't even discern what the heck the, the Spirit thing. The natural man, no, we don't want nothing natural. God ain't going to give us nothing natural. 
He's going to give us the spirit, and then it's going to manifest into the night. Praise God. I want God to spiritually me. Walk in the spirit and won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Because the flesh lust is against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. It's just that simple. Did you understand that? That's where it is. That's scripture. Galatians 6, 7 to 9. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reach corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. That's where you want to be. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. My wife, some years ago, planted a fig tree. And she's reaping the benefits of what she sowed in that fig tree. She put it too close to the house, so she's having to prune it. It tells us in Scripture about the pruning process. God has to prune stuff back for, for it to grow, and, it's, it, and the more she prunes it, the bigger the big it gets. The big <laughs> trials and tribulations have an effect of a pruning process. But she's reaping what she sowed, though. She's not only getting fruit off of the tree, with the pruning process, she used the 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 the, the, the wood. For the barbecue, to 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 barbecue the steaks on the grill, and boy, it's some good it's some good taste. It is real good taste. But this is the process. It's that's a natural process. That's works. It works in the spirit realm as well. Whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap spiritually as well. So we got to always be mindful of doing the things of the Spirit of God in our lives. We got to make sure that we are this stewardship in this journey, on this journey, in this burned land that we are navigating through stewardship, the new life as a stewardship. I'm born again. Out of that old man, that natural man, that fleshly man, into that spiritual man, this new man. If anybody be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new in our lives. And don't let the trials and the tribulation come to hinder you from continuing to be that loving person that you are. Because he said in the last days, evil will abound. And that's what we see. Coming from the Supreme Court, that's just was pure evil that came out of this this week. Pure evil, the hurt folks, student loans. Oh, the PPP was cool with the rich people. This is the same. Uh, it's the same. Uh, 
Republican Party that took away the funds of the IRS for what reason? So they won't come after them with their bogus claims of not paying their full weight impact taxes. They want them to be not able to come after the rich, but to be able to come after the poor because our taxes induce it real easy to, to, to go through and find what we done did wrong. These people are in your face and they're not hiding nothing. And I'm telling you, injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. And we got to fight for the little guy because they're going to be knocking on your door tomorrow. And they did with the Supreme Court. Uh, rulings that they came down on to this week. That's exegete the scripture. Then give me uh, Luke 12, 2 and 3. Be not deceived. Let's exegete. Luke chapter 12, verse 2 and 3. That's Luke chapter 12, verses 2 and 3. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Verse 3. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear and close shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. Everything that you did in this body is being written down in a book. Everything. So, so when judgment comes, yes, you can ask for forgiveness. That's good. That is godly sorrow worketh repentance. And that's what you have better done. Because everything that they did on last week is being recorded and it's going to be a mark against them until they repent of it. And they definitely have to repent of it. Every time. Remember, God is watching. God is checking you out. You are supposed to be building his kingdom here on this earth as it is in heaven. Whatever we bound on earth shall be bound in the heavens. Whatever we loose on earth shall be loose in the heaven. We band together to get this thing right. We are fighting an enemy that don't play by the rules. Donald Trump gave us a good example of how laws did not apply to him. Look at all the lawsuits he got. But he's been having these kind of lawsuits all his life and getting away with them because he had money to fight it, fight off. Fight off. And as we see, money can buy you a to Supreme Court justice now. Wow, that's something. <laughs> no integrity. Ooh. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. He's going to reap. You're going to reap the benefits of the fig tree. More than you uh, could imagine. Like you said, they, you got firewood. You just have to keep cutting. <laughs> and it's just keep getting bigger. Oh, Jesus. And God is so awesome. If you continue to walk in his will and his ways, you continue when the trials and the tribulations, they come to make you stronger. That's as a, as a test. It's a testimony. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. When the trials and the tribulations come to make us stronger, what do you say? Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, 
knowing that the trying of your faith work in patience. But, but man, <laughs> that patience have a perfect work. I, I put two different scriptures into that same, but, but they both go together. But let patience, trying of your faith work in patience and patience experience and experience hope. And hope in who? Hope in God that He's coming. He's right there. Told the children in the in the Sunday school, I come to send peace to the nations. And so man, it's gonna be man. They gonna come. The evil is gonna get more evil. The love of many is gonna wax cold. It's waxing cold. You see people that you. They, man, they shug you off and things, man. But you got to keep your integrity. You got to still, by love, have I drawn thee. It's, 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 we have that scripture, don't we? John, okay. Be not deceived. God is not mocked, man. God is not going to be mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth. That shall he also reap. You sow to the flesh, you'll reap of the flesh. You sow to the, to the, to the spirit, you'll reap of the spirit. And we want to reap of the spirit, the spirit of God. That's going to get us to the place that we want to be in God. We're, we're climbing those steps. And the more tribulation, the bigger the, 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 the tribulation, the bigger the blessing. And you got to stay close to God and his word. You got to continue to speak those things that be not as though they are. And the, what, Romans 8 and 31, with uh, all things work together for our good to them that are called according to his purpose. Are you called according to his purpose? Don't worry about it. Don't, don't panic. Stay on the battlefield. Don't curse nobody out. Continue to love. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. They're going to reap it. They, the, 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 danger, the dirt you do to somebody that dirt is going to catch up with you. And it's going to put you in a, in a pickle. <laughs> it's going to have you in a pickle. You're going to have to answer to that. That you did to the least of these. You took the 40 million people. My wife being one of them. <laughs> hey. Student loans, student loans, that you took them, but you let the PPP people get away. <clears throat> and he that sow it to his flesh, shall of the flesh reach corruption, but he that sow it to the spirit, shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Give me that next scripture. The next scripture is Ephesians chapter 8, verses 31. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. I'm looking at John. But you got to watch what you sow into. You got to be walking in the spirit. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. That's what you got to always be abounding in. You got to make you... Slow to hear. To be slow to speak and quick to hear. Slow to speak, quick to hear. You got to be walking in that. So you won't get it wrong. So don't you won't be giving people ungodly counsel. You're always abounding in the works of the Lord. Come on. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 3. Verse 3. Among whom also we all have our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and whereby na uh, nature the children of wrath. 
even as others. We all we all been there. We, we we used to be one of them. We used to walk in the flesh. We used to do the things of the flesh, fornication, lasciviousness, uh, envy, jealousy, and strife, uh, murder and killing, drunkenness. Uh, and we all been there, adultery. We all once, once upon a time, one of them. So we can't, we, we can't condemn them. We, we, we don't want nobody to condemn us. That's the scripture that, that, that always get it wrong in Christendom. We keep following that God, ungodly counsel even in the church house. There's no condemnation. Now, Romans 8 and 1. There's no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. And they leave it right there. And the meat and the guts of the scripture goes on to say that in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So if you're walking after the flesh, there ought to be some condemnation. You got to watch, man, watch what they're saying. Read the book. Study the book. The book is telling you, man, it ought to be some condemnation. And the condemnation is, is there to bring you to repentance, to be godly sorrow what you did. Because you were doing something that was against God. To walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. But if you're walking after the spirit, it should not be any condemnation. But if you're walking after the flesh, you ought to be godly sorrow. And the Holy Ghost in you ought to be trying to warn you. You just override. You just, uh, you done walked away from the Holy Spirit. And you should be, you going to do it your way. You ought to have condemnation in your heart that you, when you, whatever you did to that person, you sure ought to be, they, they should not be able to sleep at night. What they did to 40 million people that were looking strongly for that relief. I mean, little as it was, $10,000. Sad. But it's just all right. If there's, there, there, there's no condemnation in it, well, it's all right. God will see to it. Believe me, he said he will fight your enemies. You take care of your enemies. He told the children of Israel, I'm sending in peace. I'm going to take care of them. I'm going to take the sh chariots and the horses and all of that away from them running rock side on y'all. God will fight your battles. He will be right there. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Let's get to the next scripture. The next scripture is John. Chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. That's John chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. Yeah. Verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You walk in my what? He said, walk in my what? Then Jesus said to Jews, if you believe and continue in my word, mm -hmm. then are ye my disciple. Mm -hmm. And my word is love. Jesus is love. We got to be about love. And he said, then shall you know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yeah, yeah. Man, that you have the truth in you because you know the truth. You know what is truth and what is a lie. You won't be deceived. They can't tell you that that is right, what they're doing. 
They can't. They can't fix it. Make it make sense. That's a little saying that they got going. Make that make sense what they did on this week. That that the, the military can can use <laughs> colorblind. Now oh, they can take the blindness off, but the, but the colleges have to be colorblind. Make it make sense. That, that that there's a, a is that the Constitution now? Y'all rewriting it. So oh, praise God. That's your interpretation of. Whew. But you shall know the truth. You keep reading this Bible. It's, it's all. It's a pillar and the ground of the truth. It's a pillar and the ground of the truth. We'll know it. For he that soweth to the but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. That's what you want. That's what we're striving for. That's what we are here to do. We're on the battlefield working for our Lord. For when the days is over with, when time is when the time is uh Time for us to be judged accordingly that he will say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Paul put it this way on his way out. I fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the righteous shall judge at, my re at his return. And not to me only, but to all of them that love his appearing. God Almighty, all of us, we're going to be judged accordingly. Stay, the stay the, he that endured to the end. The battle is not given to the swift, nor the, the, the race isn't given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, but to them that can you. You endure to the end. You got to endure this race. You got to make sure that you look towards the high calling, the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. You got to be on the battlefield working for your Lord. Put on the full armor. Stay in the race. Finish the course. I don't care if you're the last one. In fact, he said that he, the first will be last and the last first. So, so baby, the, the, you going to work that one hour. You going to get that penny and you going to get the penny first. You going to get paid first. You came in at the 10th hour to the 12th hour. And those that have been there uh, slaving 12 hours, they going to get paid last. And they go get paid the same amount. That's that goes with them crowns. We're all gonna be equal. Praise God. But that's finish it up. And let us not be weary in well doing. Mm -hmm. This is the key. This brings it all home. Yes. Don't be weary, baby. Don't whip the trials and the tribulations that you go through weary you. For worry and do well doing, don't be as long as you're doing well doing, and let us not be weary and well doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Don't faint. Stay the battlefield. Stay the course. Continue to do the work that He called you to do. He'll give you the strength. It's under Him that is able to keep us from falling. And to present us faultless before the throne, for for His throne room of grace and mercy, it's Him that'll be found in Jude, the last verse, I think. I mean, yeah, the last sentence. There ain't no verses. Uh, give me that. The, 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 wrap it on up. Let's get out of here. Be not weary.
The last scripture is yeah. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Your labor won't be in vain. Mm -hmm. Just keep pushing. Keep doing what he called you to do. You made a covenant with him when you made him your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Just stay the course. You'll go where he tell you to go. You'll speak what he tell you to speak. And you'll do what he tell you to do. And it'll be all good because he's going to reward you in this life. A hundredfold return and eternal life in the life to come. That's what he told his disciples in the book of John when they said they had left everything to follow him. Mm -hmm. And he said, Ooh, everybody, you get a hundredfold return on your investment just like Job. Stay the course. Continue the battle. The enemy is coming in like a flood. He'll rise up a standard against him. And we'll do battle with him. We fight not against flesh and blood, but a principality and power. By love have we drawn thee. Continue in his good. And be not weary in well-doing. For in due season you can reap if you faint not. Praise God. What is that? Stand oh, we got the Sunday school lessons. In. You, you, you said that last week, didn't you? No, I said I'll touch this. Oh, purchase them. Yeah, they came in this week, the Sunday school lesson. Let us pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this word that went forth with power. We ask that somebody heard this word, had an ear to hear, and had a hunger and a thirst after your righteousness where you fed them, and that they want to know what they have to do to be saved, delivered, healed, sanctified, and set free to continue to walk in your will and your ways. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen, amen and amen. If you don't know Jesus and the pardon of your sin, now is the time to ask Jesus. Man, he's wanting you. The day you hear his voice, you heard his voice, harden not your heart. Man, they say they ain't got nothing for you but to kill, steal, and to destroy. Nothing but that. Because he want to take you where he's going. And that's not a good place. Hell is real. And it's hot. And we got experience how we don't even, and that ain't compared to hell. Say this little prayer with me and uh, get you a Bible believing church and Sunday school is the key. But prayer is the key and faith unlocks the door. Say this little prayer for me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I know I have sinned and fell short of your glory. I believe that you died on the cross for the remissions of my sin. And I believe that on the third day, you arose that I might partake of the tree of life and that I make you my Lord and Savior from this day forward. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. If you say that prayer with me, you are saved. Go to Acts 2 and 4. Read up on the Pentecost where they received the Holy Ghost. And go to Acts 5 and 32 and see where they received, how they received the Holy Ghost. It's being obedient. And uh, if you want to... Uh, donate to this ministry or uh, if you can holler at us if you want a Sunday school book and uh, we'll tell you put them on uh, the internet right yeah we got to 
Yeah, we got church members that get the book, so. But but we 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 see it every week the uh, Sunday school. If you want your name, yeah. That, it goes by email and on Facebook. Thank you. Okay. If you want to donate to this ministry, go to sale or go to Chase Bank and uh, Temple of Faith of God Church and deposit there. And uh, this is a 501c3 ministry, and you can write it off on your taxes legitimately, okay? And uh, so all minds clear, this is the place to be loved, uplifted, and taught the Word of God, Temple of Faith of God. Let the sweet communion of the precious Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide until we return at the appointed time. We forever give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory that is so do you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, and we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. I hope everybody have a good, blessed 4th of July. I plan to be with my family and have a good time now. They're talking about being on the inside because uh, I can't stay in the sun too long. I got aches, aches from us, so I'll break out. But and I've gained a couple of pounds. Uh, I got a little nephew. He can, I'm going to take my little uh, ribs over there, but I got a little nephew who can, can burn. <laughs> Shona Taylor. Praise God. Uh, and uh, what's his name? Nadia's husband? Robinson. James Robinson. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, the little, I don't know where they got it from. It might have been. <laughs> but God bless y'all. Have a blessed uh, 4th of July. Have a blessed day and have a blessed week. Bye-bye.